Hi, this is Kevin at the Virtual Planetarium at Raritan Valley Community College. Welcome to our weekly star talk. Today we're going to be talking about a very bright star that we can see early in the evening sky. And we also have some updates of things happening in the space world. Um, so let's get right to it. Um, but first, let's talk about our moon. We have a new moon on May 11th. Then the first quarter moon is going to be on May 19th, and then the full moon of the month is going to be on May 26th. So today we're going to be talking about a very bright star that we can see just after the sun has set towards the eastern part of the sky. So here we have our planetarium sky. Um, we currently have it set up for 9 o'clock at night. Um, if you notice, we have a letter E right in front of us right here. And that's because we're looking towards the east. Now, if we look just a little north of east or to the left over here, we see this very bright star up here in the sky. And you can notice that even here in the planetarium software, it's kind of flickering a little bit. Um, and that's because this star is actually really, really bright. So this is the bright star called Vega. I'm just going to circle it real fast here so it's easy for you to see it. Um, it is the fifth brightest star in the night sky, and it belongs to a summertime constellation known as Lyra. Lyra is supposed to be this instrument in the sky. Um, the constellation itself is about five stars. Um, here we have the stick figure version, but it's a little hard to see here. So Now when you see the star in the night sky, you might actually confuse it with an airplane, and that's because it flickers a lot. And it flickers so much because it's a really, really bright star. So really bright stars, when they're close to the horizon, the atmosphere makes them shimmer a lot more than normal. Um, and since the stars are brighter, you can see those flickers a lot better. Here we actually have a video of another bright star called Capella, and you can see those flickers are actually changes in color. So here we can see, it's a view through the telescope, which we unfocus so you can see the colors a lot better. That's why it kind of looks like a donut shape. Um, but we can see the uh, different colors in the stars. And again, this is caused because of our atmosphere. So when the stars are really close to the horizon, there's a lot more atmosphere in the way, so they look like they flicker a lot more. And for really bright stars like Vega right here, it means they kind of look like airplanes because you see them flicker aggressively, and then you also see different colors like red and green and blue even. So that's why a lot of people confuse this star with an airplane. But if you look at it for a very long time and you notice that it hasn't moved, it is obviously not an airplane, it is a star. Like I said, Vega belongs to the summertime constellation of Lyra, and Lyra is actually one of the most famous summertime constellations, so you'll be hearing this name again when we talk about it later on in the summer. So stay tuned for more of this. Alright, so you're probably sick about hearing from the Mars rover and all these Mars updates, but we do have an exciting one. On May 7th, NASA actually completed the fifth and final planned technology demonstration of the Ingenuity helicopter. Um, so we're done with that technology demonstration phase, but that doesn't mean that the helicopter is going to stop flying. NASA actually has flights planned every two to three weeks until like the end of August. And during this time, for these, all these flights are going to be doing an operation demonstration. So they're going to show what a mission with a helicopter could look like. Now that we know that the technology works, we want to see if the planning would actually work as well. And since we're talking about the Mars 2020 mission, let's take a look at where the Perseverance rover is. And now we can see that it's starting to move away from that test flight region, that blue outline that we have over here. So the real Perseverance mission is about to start, which is great. So the rover is actually going to start doing some science of its own. Now, a few weeks ago, we mentioned that the U.S. was not the only country to send missions to Mars this year. Earlier in February, China and the United Arab Emirates both sent two separate probes to Mars. Now, China's probe was intended to have an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, but up till now, all three components were orbiting Mars. China is planning to land the rover, hopefully towards the end of the month. So if everything's successful, we're going to have two new rovers on Mars this year. So that would be exciting. In other fun space news, um, SpaceX had a successful Starship prototype flight. The test flight for their SN15 Starship went on fine on May 5th. 
Um, and this is following four Starship prototypes that exploded upon landing from their high altitude tests. So it's good to see that this Starship was successful and SpaceX was able to fly to a high altitude for, of about six miles and then land it back safely. I'm showing a little bit of the clip here, which is very exciting. It's so cool to see how much technology has advanced that we're able to have these reusable rockets. I will be putting the full link in the description if you want to check out the whole video. It's really long, uh, but if you want to, feel free to check that out. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you learned something new. If you see Vega in the sky, stay looking at it just to see if it's a plane or not. But it will be flickering wildly, so if you stay looking at it and it doesn't go anywhere, then you can be pretty sure that it's a star and not an airplane. If you like this video, be sure to give us a like, and if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do so. We're going to be posting new videos every week, and hopefully you'll learn something new then. Have a good week.